Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Just, just give him. Just give him thanks. Give him thanks. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We bless your name, Lord. Have your way in this place. In the mighty name of Jesus. We love you, Lord. We honor you because you are worthy to be praised. Let that tolly come play head. Sekabli do zibla hais de kari di zobash te bahagra. Yes, so God, they do zibi hagli be do viblus de bhartish de pakris de bore me hande. Zedu bahas de vikalia stobla ke bus de behande stable hizda. Bakuri do zibi to pakish doli because zobla because you are worthy. Man double haze the catilic is that the cabasho blame behind that there is no one else like you. The Zahu to Jacat is double high the visible get assembly. Zetu Jalia to Zapri to Jacataria Buzoto Roba Jebla Marabiketaya. Give him thanks. La Joko Talia Muzoto, Mania Kematora, Rezota Kamaje Blebetage de Blameka Bevote Brebeketaya, Redos de Bacalia to Zebra, Stecamatal de Jicamblandi, Yes, O God, Pecandos de Platos de Brebeketali Muzoble Head, Redos Jala Macabatalia Muzobla Macabatai, and Dakato Shakambuka, Pato Capatongi Talia, Yakutu Shapley Costo Blamek of de Blahide. There's double make a talia, double make a in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Tell your neighbor that this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Tona mata zitare nyu tote
his name, declare 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 his name. Mako semare bo setari re re, de san de re 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 bo san de ra ba shaketa ya, ya shake bros de ba hen de ka ba tari bo so your name, your name above all names. Mako satari bo satari bo shaya, yo ko satari bo shana bo ba shaya ba re re. Mako satari bo shaya, our church will give you glory. South Africa will give you glory. La Sotaria Mosane Breva Shaya. Africa will give you glory. Sekaba Stebreva Kasimbabwe will give you glory. Reko Sama Chania Masena Ramasane. We honor you, O God. The Sotaria Mosakama will bless your name. Eh, that it is Satanina Rasama. We worship you, we worship you, we bless your name, Jesus. Just lift up your hands. Father, we thank you. We glorify you, Lord. We love you with all our hearts. You are precious, O oh Holy Spirit. You are wonderful, O oh Holy Spirit. You are kind. You are beautiful. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We appreciate your presence. We appreciate your presence. We appreciate your love. Thank you, beautiful Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's appreciate Jesus. Let's take our seats in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. I welcome you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Look at your neighbor. Tell them you are looking beautiful. You are looking wonderful. Hallelujah. Right. Um, we want to eat of the Spirit. Amen. That's what we do these days. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, I'm about to eat of the Spirit. Come on, tell them with confidence, I'm about to eat of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Viewers all over the world, we appreciate you. The same grace here is where you are. Use your faith to connect to the fire of the Holy Ghost as the Lord manifests himself in your lives. Hallelujah. You know, I remember when we were in the middle of last year. You know, the Lord said to me, next year, I'm going to do great things by the word. Amen. So, He is going to heal you by His word. He's going to lift you up by His word. So, it's important that you are very close to His word. Amen. I will help you. But you have to know that I, I only can offer help. What you do with it or how you apply the word is up to you as a child of God. When I give you the word, I try by all means to distribute it in such a way that you go home understanding how to go and apply it. But how you then apply it in terms of consistency, in terms of intensity, in terms of resilience, in terms of concentration, focus, memory, is up to you. Almost everything that I tell you is what I know. I can't tell you everything I know. I tell you almost 
based on how maturing you are showing, based on your maturity, I take you deeper. And I take you deeper. Jesus, when he came on earth, and he said to his disciples, I've got many things to tell you, but I can't tell you all of it right now. Jesus came to give us a picture of what a man of God should operate. That a man of God always has something in us. But that is determined by how the brethren are maturing. Whether if the bones are given to you, you are able to eat them. Because what happens is, when a man of God gets too excited to give you everything, he can endanger you. Yep. In such a way that even certain revelations of the word of God you've given to you and you lack certain depth. It can harm you. If you look at Saul in the Bible, God loves Saul before he is a king. Because remember, Saul's appointment as a king was as a result of the children of Israel's complaints that we want a king. But God, during the days of Saul, wanted judges. He didn't want a king. But Israel kept crying and said, we want a king, we want a king. So God gave them a king in Saul. Remember, Saul to be a king was anointed by the prophet. And yet, in the days of Saul's reign as a king, he has no favor from God, even though anointed by the prophet. So there are certain anointings that if they are given to you, when God looks and he says there is no ability for you to process the level of that anointing, you can carry the anointing or it can be released to you but it can work against you so when church is growing when church is maturing one of the assignments of the men of god is to assess the spiritual growth of his sons and his daughters are they able to bear this are they able to bear that are they able to be that? Judas Iscariot was not supposed to be among the twelve. And his consistent impartation of the anointing that he had no capacity to carry. That made him betray Jesus. So, what makes the job tough is all of you are my children. But you are in different levels in the spirit. So, when I get into prayer, watch this. When I get into prayer, I only don't need to pray for you. I need to coach my spirit. Prayer for me grows from a level where I pray for you to a level where I coach my spirit. I begin to pray for other beings of me that are with me in prayer but that are not willing to be with me because they want to be with you. To cause you to get the job. To cause you to pass the interview. To cause you to receive business ideas and you excel in business. The book of Genesis says we are created in the image of God. And in the likeness of God. But for years we have ignored the depth of what this means. That the image of God means his ability. His character. His strength. But because you are human, you keep fighting the idea of all that is in God being in you. You pick and choose that I know God can heal the sick, so I also can pray and heal the sick. God can bless people, so I think I also can pray and people get blessed. But there is a very crucial character of God that has been missed by the body of Christ for many years. That should be understood if you are to become a Christian. God is all powerful. 
and he has given you the power because you are in his image God is all loving and you know that the love that is in you is no longer the love of men but the love of God which is agape love of God so if you can receive the love of God agape being part of the image of God why can't you receive the ability of God to exist in many places at the same time why are you only choosing agape not manifesting as a ghost in many places I've got many things to tell you you can't be them. I spoke to Mama Putti last week and she said you need to try and preach again that message we need to hear more there is depth and confusion that needs to be cleared so here I am I'm saying to you do you have the love of God do you have the love of God do you have the beauty of God do you have the excellence of God do you have the Holy Spirit of God do you have the ability to manifest yourself in many places like God you see the yeses are few because I need to teach that but it's the same thing if you have the love of God then you can have the ability of God to manifest yourself in many places which is very important for you to manifest yourself in many places because when you are absent from your job your job needs you to be present protected if you are going to be absent from your job the day you get sick it means the devil can attack the job itself in your absence and make you lose the job in your absence but when you have got ability to develop yourself such that in your absence from your job you are also present in your job then you can defend it every witch that has ever used witchcraft against you never came to you physically they will be sleeping but they have ability to commune and communicate with other beings of themselves that they can speak to that they can assign to say go to so and so and they say what do I go there and do and they say go and do this to them make them lose the make them lose that boyfriend that is about to marry them make them lose that girlfriend that is about to marry them make them lose the job that they just got but this person is in Chivi and the person who is about to lose the job by the effect of the person in, in, in Chivi is probably in England and the ability of the person who is in Chivi developed to cross the sea Cross the sea and come to your dreams. It's got ability to think that I'll wait for you to sleep. It doesn't come when you are awake. It's also now a being that can sit and wait for you to say, her weakest point is when she's sleeping. Because this is when she also does not have other beings that are alert, like she's alert in the afternoon. If I try and attack her in the afternoon, she's alert. So I have to try and wait in the evening where I think she's not a late boss. She has not also developed other beings that can defend her or that are present when she's sleeping. Right. If you want to see that it's possible for you to be in many places at the same time, I want to give you the simplest, easy to process. The Bible says, you are seated in, you are seated in, Shout so that your neighbor can hear. You are seated in, in, in Christ, in heavenly, in Christ, His heavenly places on earth. It's in heaven. So right now you are listening to me, but you're also sitting in heaven. <laughs> so, so right. When you go to sleep, where are you physically? In your bed. Shout so your neighbor can hear. When you are sleeping physically, where are you physically? When you are sleeping physically, where are you, Peter, physically? Shout, don't be scared. That's good. You are in your bed. Where are you spiritually? You are seated in heavenly? In Christ? But physically, you are sleeping in your? But as you are sleeping in your bed, you are also in heavenly? So you are in two places. And can I also show you the third place? Have you never dreamt when you are sleeping and you are in England?
So you before we before I even take you to the fourth place, you're already in three places. Your bed, England in a dream, heavenly places. So the I got to figure out and do all so, <laughs> yeah, uh, we love you so much, and you're welcome. And I can see me, she's here. You're welcome. Right. Let's get into the word. With understanding that you are here, but you are also sitting in heavenly places. With understanding that you are here, but when you go to sleep and dream, you also can be at the border. Crossing the border. How many of you have dreamt you are living such a terrible life and you dream such a beautiful life? And you wake up, and the first thing you wake up is you get angry. It was a dream. If dreams don't exist in the realm of reality, why are you angry? You have disqualified dreams to be in the realm of fiction. But your instinct does not lie. The reason why you are angry, or the reason why you wake up scared, you know, this is so scary, the dreams that I've dreamt. The reason why you are scared is dreams are qualified in the realm of reality. So if you can learn to consciously relate with your dreams, it means you are able to interpret your dreams and cause what you dream to manifest. Or stop what was about... Alright, let's put it this way. How many of you have dreamt money, cars, houses, beautiful homes, joy, peace in a dream? How many? Right. How many of you have dreamt negative something and few days or few weeks it happens? How come you have dreamt of a negative thing it happened and you never the money you dreamt never happened? So you need to check whether your individual is connected to the consciousness of negativity such that when you dream negative things they are the ones that happen so it's about consciousness you celebrate you celebrate more negative dreams than you do positive dreams no one here no one no one here has ever come to me and said, Daddy, I've dreamt driving a car. Pray for me. All of you have come saying, I've had a nightmare. Pray for me. So, your understanding of the reality of dreams in the positive way is less of the participation of your consciousness. That's why you run to me when you've got a bedroom. If I open my phone right now, I'll read to you countless dreams that are nightmares, that are this. Nobody has ever told me I dreamt a white wedding. The time coming that you pour oil on me. So your person, the you that is responsible for reproducing the person who is seated in Christ Jesus, the person who is going to England, the person who is driving a car, the headmaster of those people is you. That you is more conscious of negative things. Such that when you dream of positive things, you don't really care. You have never woken up with excitement of driving a car after you dream it. As compared to the fear you had when your witch was chasing you. Rarely do you wake up and claim a car that you dream. As opposed to casing a dream that is negative that you dream. So even though you are doing good by casing a negative dream, but your approach is exposing you that you are more negative to the negative aspect of your spiritual side. Amen. 
So, you are more than one person. You are more than how many people? One. How you manifest that person to solve that, to fix that, to touch that, to improve that, to help that person depends on your prayer life, depends on your ability to process the word, depends on your consciousness when you are applying the word of God. Look at me. Look at me. I have ability as a man of God. Because remember, the reason why I am a man of God is because there is a God in me. That God in me is omnipresent. And his ability to process me as a spirit, to be omnipresent, depends on how conscious I am to he who lives in me. Do you know what you As good a problem in you, but not in my own initiation, my own words with the money. I want you to be in control of your dreams. I want you to stop calamity before it happens. I want you to stop Zizi Ripper take off. Look at your neighbor, I don't know what you're going Say, I can do that. When your witch is thinking about you, you can sit next to him and tell them you are, this is a dangerous ground. In any matter, what's done by revelation? In the last year, what's done by revelation? Number one, you have to promise me that you are not going to pray for anything bad to happen to a person. Can I promise? I've never done that, but I promise I will not. Because because what I'm about to give you, if you pray, it will happen. Because a lot of youths are going to be traveling around, so we need to use the youths, in people's dreams, to receive Jesus, and people's dreams to give them direction, to deliver them to touch their bosses and make them think otherwise. So you have to promise me that when I give you this spirit, that gift is to build. So I'm very conscious of what I carry. So at times when you do something and I keep quiet, I will look like a fool in your eyes. But it's because I know who I am. But I'm done wrong. I worked in a, in a, in a beer hall. So I would sell the shake shake that she book. So I sold that she book to two other guys. You know, I'm not sure many of you would know, but probably only me who worked in a beer over here. So there is what is called Ngangeros. It's a white big container, two liters. So you fill that with alcohol, with, with alcohol traditional beer. So, two big spiritual guys concerning witchcraft have agreed to contribute money to buy these two liters. When one collected it, I saw him doing this to the beer, but I didn't see what he's doing. And the other guy had gone to the toilet, to the play toilet that was where my dad's beer hall was. So he had gone to the toilet, and when he came back, he touched it, and when he was about to drink it, he put it down and he said, You've put poison in here. I'm by the counter and I'm watching them under the tree arguing. He's saying, you've put poison here. And I'm saying, but how did he see this? But I think he put poison because he was doing this, so maybe the poison was hidden somewhere. And this guy had fame that if he touches you with that long nail, he can witchcraft you, he can kill you, so I think he had put some poison. But the guy, he's using poison to try and kill his friend. And the friend comes and he has not seen poison being put and he says, you have put poison in me. So the friends begin to curse. Saying, you are going to see me in 45 minutes. He is leaving him, but he is saying, you are going to see me. My assumption is, um, if I am to see you, we have to have a rendezvous. He is going somewhere, but he is saying, you will see me. (laughs) 
this other guy knows that this guy is dangerous spiritually so he knows if he is going to resist that that which guy is saying you are going to see he also has to go to a certain place so he took his bicycle and started riding in a certain certain direction and he also started shouting i'll meet you that one is going in that direction that on that direction they are promising to meet so my my aunt my dad's wife the one that came mama gere if you remember her the light one she said to me amunya these guys are serious in witchcraft and they are known for lightning so keep listening to we'll hear what what will happen 40 35 minutes down the line the one that had said you see me in 30 minutes 40 30 minutes down the line we just sent a sound that was like a kilometer from where we are with a blue sky no clouds no rain but there's a sound of lightning then one hour 30 minutes two hours they both came back laughing at each other so no no i'm asking myself what are these guys talking about that one went 2 kilometers down the road that one 2 kilometers down the road but they are saying one don and they began to explain to people that were there how their lightnings were meant to go and strike the other but the other's lightning stood and defended the other so that was the sound so if somebody like that comes to you and you don't know how to manifest multiple personalities of you so a person like me cannot be touched by a person like that because i'm more spiritual than them even though i look like a sheep i'm also a lion and that ability is in you to be a sheep and to be a lion where your witches are overpowering you is you don't know how to use the other beings that want to get out of you and possess what's yours get out of you and possess what's yours and get out of you and possess you are living with more than seven people there that's why when you pray you end up getting frustrated to say i i i felt it that by this year i should be driving a car there's somebody in there who is an owner of a car i had a vision that was telling me that by this time i should have built a house there's somebody in you you are not crazy there's somebody who has been developed in you to be a landlord but you don't know how to dispatch them There's a guy who called me. He said to me, "I know I do investments. Send me money." But I'll try. Mama knows the story. But I'll try. How much should I send? I said 3000. Like, no, 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 I'll send 1.5. I want to try. For me money is not the problem. It's trust worth. Can I trust you? I said, "No, you can trust me. Send 1.5." I sent to him 1.5. And uh, after 2-3 days when my money was supposed to come, he started to give me stories. So I called him. And I said, "Do you know who I am?" is is from Nigeria. And he also said to me, "Do you know who I am?" Because I'm serious. Do you know who I am? He said, "I don't care." Hey, hey, hey. Because my friend, you are going to be sick. Your wife is going to be sick. Your child is will be in hospital for four days. You are going to lose every money that you have stolen from another person. When I ask you, "Do you know who I am?" I'm the last pastor. When God brings you to me, he wants you to repent or die. He said, I don't care, I don't care. Mama looked at me and she saw I was angry. I just went to my, my prayer room, I took my Bible and I went to the mountain. And I sat on my out. <laughs> the whole day. They said, Saka marindu wabiz wa muripo. What do I have to do with this? All right. Why wait for you in the long? Why should I wait for you? Where are my beings? Was that you were chained up on that hour? Could he say that you were chained up on it? He called me four or five days. This is yes, four or five days later. He said, Men of God, I'm sorry. My leg is swelling. It was the friend who called you, and then the friend, the one who you kissed is the one who told the friend to call you because now he couldn't come to the phone 
He couldn't come to the phone because he was scared. So he told his friend to call me. He said, please, man of God, his leg is... You know what the only way this matter will end is if I make you receive Jesus Christ now on the phone and you call your friend to call me to receive Jesus Christ now so you can say oh don't man of God is calling me no one is allowed to speak as she answered the other phone the ambulance actually said they are coming to take my wife to hospital you can tell him and the child is following to the hospital you didn't take 1.5 from me you touched my spirit so eventually I closed this company in the spirit. He received Jesus. I don't know if he managed to maintain his salvation. You know, people are greedy for money. But my intention was to send a strong statement that as a child of God, you are in control of your life. It's important for your wishes to know that you are more anointed than them. It's important for your enemies to know that you are more anointed than them. It's important for people that are in, the, in your area to know that there is a man of God and a woman of God in this environment. When you choose not to fight battles, it's because you are mature. But you can fight. Jesus enters Jerusalem and they resist him and they want to kill him. And Peter says, should we call fire like the days of Elijah? Jesus says, no, don't you know the dispensation that we are in? But I want you to understand that when you are receiving attacks that are consistent, that are consistent, that are consistent from a person who keeps belittling you and belittling you and it is a witch that thinks they've got more anointing and power and they keep attacking you and you are trying to tell them that I have nothing to do with you. I have repented and I want you to leave me alone but they keep belittling you and attacking you I want you to know that you can exercise authority over them yeah your doors can refuse to open when witches come if you can exercise authority in the spirit exercise spiritual things exercise dominion Exercise imparting anointing to anything that belongs to you. Don't be a victim of losing opportunities, businesses, careers. All the time when something is about to happen, you lose it. All the time when something is about to happen, you lose it. You can distribute yourself to gather wealth. You can distribute yourself to gather your husband. You don't need to get married the day you get married. You can get married now as I'm preaching. And the other person of you that is responsible for the ring being put on your finger will be dispatched based on your consciousness of the word and what you want to achieve with the word to locate the man who should marry you or the woman you should marry. Give them a hunger to want to get married. Jesus is amazing. Because when he is birthed by his, by, 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 by his mother, the day he is birthed by his mother, he possesses that ability from the first minute he is birthed. His being goes to the wise men that are in the east. And they see his star. <laughs> and they begin to follow the star. What are they following? The star. Where is Jesus? In a manger. But they have something that belongs to this boy. Gold. Diamonds. Silver. So if you people don't rise up in spirit and become spiritual as desired by God, your country will remain in the hands of wrong people that are eating your diamonds and eating your gold. Until people have ability to dispatch themselves so that they go and protect what is theirs. And these wise men that have got gold that does not belong to them, they are only stewards. 
But stewards can mismanage. That's why when you're in heaven, you'll be given a reward of good stewardship. But stewards can mismanage. So your president from your country is a steward of your gold and your diamond. But they're eating it with their children. So until your star shines on them, which is another you, so that they follow it to bring it to you, they will never put policies that favor you. Hey, be, 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 be. Hey, 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 hey. There is nothing that will happen if you don't help that young man spiritually. It's beyond voting. That political party last won elections in 1999. Every other election from there to currently, they have lost all, but they are still in power. To show you it's not about voting. People who lose votes can rule the country. <laughs> so it's not about voting. Can you as a nation collectively come together like the Israelites in Egypt and say we are tired of oppression and your cry goes to God oh my God collectively can you come together collectively and collectively your cry comes before God and God looks for a prophet because of a cry Bible wrote in the Bible Collectively. There's division even in the spirit. Then they will continue to rule. Because your tears need to appear before God as one tear. And go show you anything when I am on. And I go to Genesis 18, verse 20. What is the other? Jesus did not miss the shock. Refine. So most people are not Jehovah. So I know two thousand more you make. What I give you, you will not give. You will not be given. So you need to eat this. 18. Genesis 18 is the one, and. Genesis is bugure gutanga mbai bi bugure gutanga Genesis is bugure gutanga mbai bugure gutanga Sasa kuna wenda kumashure shuru ndore kutanga Muchenda ba chapter 18 verse 20 Hmm nya ino chikisa Ndi ba chapter 20 Ndoverenga And the Lord said because the outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is great. So these are two nations but with one outcry. Their cry is not divided. The cry that came to God is one outcry but of two nations. So because of the outcry, not because of the outcries, the nations crying are two. But the cry is so even as your nation, if you cry dividedly, Until you can cry collectively, until you can intercede collectively, until you can apply the word of God correctively. But let's look at it. And the Lord said, because the outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is great. Imagera Jurungant. Great in the world of the group viewer. Was it great is the Ribam Sorope Jimmy? The root of Abana great, Abana greater, greatest. He left where Shiba Jimmy is great. It's not normal. It's great. So it means the, the outcry was at a certain level where it was normal and the Lord paid no attention. It was at a certain level where, I, I don't know the other word, but it wasn't yet great and the Lord said, ah, not yet. It, it then became great. The outcry. And it appeared before the Lord. It's a great outcry. The outcry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great. And because their sin is very grave, I will go down now and see whether they have done all together according to the outcry against it that has come to me and if not I will know. Yes. 
Inzwa. Muruzwa. This is, listen. This is God omnipresent. Who is everywhere at the same time. Who knows what's happening, happening everywhere at the same time. And this Who is all powerful at the same time? And he's saying an outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah came to him that there is a grave sin. There is serious sin in Sodom and Gomorrah. And an outcry came to him. God all knowing and omnipresent who is everywhere, who can see what's happening needed a report to be brought to him. But if you look at this scripture, he is saying, somebody came and tell me that there is a grave sin in Sodom and Gomorrah. Crying. That somebody was probably representing the cries of everybody. And they went before God. And they cried before God and said, what is happening in Sodom and Gomorrah? Needs you. And the Bible said here, and God said in verse 21, I will go down now. God who is omnipresent is going down now. Going down now where? To Sodom and Gomorrah. To do what? To see whether they have all together according to the outcry against it that has come to me. So I want to assess whether that which I've been told that they are doing is true. But you are God omnipresent. But you are God omnipotent. You are God omniscient. Why do you need to leave a certain place and go down. And he did not go down only spiritually. Even geographically. Because when he came on his way to Sodom and Gomorrah. Abraham saw them. Gave them water to wash their feet. Gave them food to eat. If you look before. God said when he was walking to Sodom and Gomorrah. Should I go and do this thing without telling my friend Abraham. So geographically God was transported from heaven. Even though he's omnipresent. So it shows you there are particles of God in his nature that have ability to travel and also particles of God in the same nature that have ability to be everywhere at the same time. But the particles of God that have ability to be everywhere at the same time might not get the results that are supposed to be acquired by the quality of God that is supposed to travel to a certain place to verify certain information. So even though you are praying in the presence of God omnipresent, as long as you have not attracted the fine particles of God that should move geographically from heaven to your prayer room, your outcry will not be heard. That is only what you want to request, but about when you go to a travel, come go travel here in Muri Kwesi. You could pan a umu umu hamari. You know, fan a queen that pan a ingen jimpo. Can a minana isha itika. Even though I. Iwe iwe ndika ku develop and as iwe o Jonathan ndika ku develop and you develop another Jonathan who is able to get a job. Even though that other Jonathan has gotten a job and is in an office, if you don't go there, you will you be fired. Hello. Daddy, you always speak when looking at material oror. Or testify. I want to thank God. I've testified, and you are, in, 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 you are here. In South Africa, and maybe you have left your husband home. And this, when you left your husband home, when your husband wakes up, watch me. When your husband wakes up, he begins to check time. Actually, we take church. We were told church finishes around one two. I want to eat. Actually, we take church. The reason why he's complaining like that is he is feeling your presence in your house. That's why he is actually thinking of you. But I know he's thinking of me and you neglect one day. Even though I knew it. Hey, hey, hey. 
So Mwari has his presence that is in Sodom and Gomorrah and he's seeing this. But he has his nature and presence that should also travel within his presence to go and verify the report that has been brought to him. If you look at how God is putting it, he is saying, I need to go and verify whether the report brought to me is true before I pass judgment. So our picture is somebody was in Sodom and Gomorrah, assessing what's happening in Sodom and Gomorrah, assessing what's happening in Sodom and Gomorrah, assessing. And that somebody had the ability to travel between earth and heaven and report to God. Yes. And God had to say to himself, I'm going to leave heaven yes. and go on earth. Because I will go down now. Going down is from a higher place. So I will go down now. Why is he going down? Listen to this very carefully. I will go down now and see. So there is God even though he is omnipresent. There is his ability that is to come and verify your prayer. Dream series a prayer. There is the presence of God that if you pray only in the omnipresence of God and you don't attract the certain nature of God that comes to verify whether what you are praying is from you. So I'm going to make a comment about the prayer. He said, "Yeah, verify." I'm going to make a comment about the chamber of relationship. Obram pray that I feel I need to leave this guy. But your feeling had not been verified. See ya, my boss. Quickly left a job. Quickly left a business that had potential. Because you had prayed. It's not the problem with prayer. The problem is with verification. Because God is saying, I need to go and see whether the report that has been brought to me. How do reports reach God? By prayer. There's no other institute you can report to God except by prayer. So there are people that were praying here. You need to intervene what's happening in Sodom and Gomorrah. When these people became a unit, their prayers and their tears presented themselves before God. It said, come and see what's happening in Sodom and Gomorrah. So if you don't develop yourself to pray, where you attract the presence of God, that is not the general omnipresence of God. That is even in a beer hall. Because God is everywhere. Jesus even said, even when my soul went to hell, you didn't forsake me. So God is in hell. So God is in hell. So God is in hell. So God is in How do you expect to be answered? Jesus in power is How do you think when somebody is drinking and drinking and drinking and drinking, when they are drinking, they feel convicted? I, I just need to slow down on drinking. Because Jesus is with them. That's why the conviction. So if you are expecting to be answered in the same presence that is in a beer, that's why there is a certain presence of God that is only found in a place where you are praying and you have to attract it by praying a certain type of prayer, by adopting a certain type of an attitude. That is the presence that attracts God and that attracts God to answer my prayers. This is making sense. Let's take it deeper. I said, yeah, deep. You have to write it deep forever. Now, Bufunzo, what Peter? Why is God coming to verify when he's omnipresent? Pastor Brutism, why is God coming to verify he are omnipresent? When I pray and I say, Father, I thank you, oh, thank you in the name of Jesus. should be an easy prayer like that. But why do we need to get into prayers hours and in tongues at times? We are praying and constantly declaring the word. When he is present, it is omnipresent. Now watch this. The Bible says the devil is the prince of this world. So who owns this world? The devil. Rightfully so. With all legalities. Jesus goes to fast 40 days and 40 nights. And he is fasting from a territory owned by somebody who is not him. He's fasting on earth in a territory owned by the devil. 
expecting to see God, the owner of the territory, is the first one to manifest. I'm not easy. Microphone is dry. It is like a busy vision. That the devil is the prince. Yes, better. The devil is the prince of this earth. He's the king of this earth. Number one, there's no kingdom without vice presidents. There's no kingdom without ministers and offices, systems and policies in the way of operation. So Jesus leaves heaven where he is the king in heaven. And he comes on earth where there is a king on earth. The devil, rightfully so. Because when he deceived Adam and Eve, that's what he took, the earth. So when Jesus is fasting, even though he is fasting to God, but he's fasting from a territory already owned by somebody. If you are prayerful, go and try and pray in a witch doctor's room. And you see that as you are praying, you consistently feel like these are things that are moving. So you pray and you're opening your eyes. And yet when you do the same prayer in your home, your eyes will be closed. When you are in a witch doctor's room, you don't trust anything moving in there. Because you are in somebody's territory. So even your senses, when you are praying to God, it's normal for them to sense things of that territory. So Jesus is praying to God, but the first answer to his prayer is the devil manifest. You are hungry. Yes. Turn these stones into bread. This is the devil. But Jesus is fasting to God. Jesus responds and refuses. Hmm. Took him up a mountain to prove to you that the earth belongs to the devil. He took him up the mountain. What did he say to him? Look at all these kingdoms. Bow down with one knee. Worship me. I'll give you what you want because they have been given to me. The kingdoms of the earth have been given to? To the devil. So who owns the earth? The devil. So when you are coming on earth and you are getting born again on earth, know you are getting born again in a territory already owned by somebody. Jesus refuses to bow down. But the devil has ability to give him kingdoms. That's why you have good men of God that are going to worship the devil and they become powerful. Because the devil can give kingdoms. That's why you have good Satanists that are richer than Christians. Not just Satanists. So that's why you have heathens. Heathens are more richer than Christians. Think of the richest Christian you see. I'll give you a heathen. They are rich. Suppose the devil's kingdom is his. So he gives it to whomever he wants. So when you are not a Christian, it's easier to be rich. I'm not this one. Worship me. So that's a principle on earth that if you want to be rich quick, pinam satanism. Yeah, how come you answer and Because the wealth belongs to the devil. So he easily distributes it to people that are not of God. To you, that is of God. The wealth that you want is on earth, owned by the devil. But you want the, earth, the wealth to be taken from the hand of the devil, transitioned by God spiritually, sanctified and be given to you. It's not anointing. Ne grace Satan. Process you, you know that we see you. Those are the people who are not going to be able to Process you, you know that how to apply yourself to the process. At that time, you put out a process. You know, things are locked out of order. Thirty. Yes. Panewe sanga ita na rari muno kana rukundo na live. Anga ita na ruta yo agani gandia mwari. Nda proof. Satan agat. Fugama ne pira wa nu gandina mat. Makindo meza yanda angu. They were given to me by who? By God. Now, there you are trying to be successful, trying to live a good health, trying to make money in a kingdom already owned by somebody. And you are coming 
as an individual of another kingdom. Because Jesus, to prove to you that the kingdom belongs to the devil, Jesus says to you, remember you are in this earth but not of this earth. You are in this world but not of this world. So if we are not of this world, who does this world belong to? To the devil. But you are here on earth. How do you make money on earth? How do you become rich on earth? How do you continue living in joy on earth when you are not of this world? How do you continue? The systems have to be understood. Now, Teresa, Teresa, Kutera, when you want to buy the land, depends on you. Nikandian, who owns the world? It's the devil. And it's, who owns the world? The devil. But we are in this world. The devil owning the world has systems that he has put. I say today I don't have time to teach you many systems. But my financial principles I'm just going to say in the world. System I'm going to say in us, in the world, is in the world, is the devil is the father of this world. He's the king of this world. He's the prince of this world. And the Bible says he's the father of lies. So, he is the king of the world. And in the world he's a king. He's the father of lies. So, in the kingdom of the devil that you are seeing, there are his children that you can't see with your physical eyes. Since you can't also see the father with physical eyes. And his children are called lies. Jesus is the father of lies. I don't know what lately. But I don't the father of lies. Because I don't know what he's the father of lies. a biological system. He has a spirit. He knows what I'm He has a biological system in the realm of the spirit. That keeps bathing lies. Keeps bathing lies. And there are babies that are moving everywhere. And babies grow. So they are developed as embryo lies. Birth as infant lies. Grow as young boy lies. Become young adults. Senior lies. Until their institutions and entities. And their father is the devil. The devil is the father of. And the devil is the king of this world. So when the devil is the father of lies. And is the king of this world. So Satan is the kingdom of earth. So the devil is the father of lies. So where are these children living on earth? So earth has become a realm that has got children of the devil called lies. Now, I don't have time to go to Daniel 10. Verse 1 to 14. As you know, you know, in note, in the Daniel and the Gatin Damat, the Pindabaka Utsang, though Vandade is a shaman, Zangu Gadi is Akura Bazaranagudi, Kunamat. Then we went down the, the river Tigris. And when we were there praying and not eating but only vegetables, and I did not anoint myself or drink any sweet drink for 21 days, an angel appeared. My friends did not see the angel. They only felt the presence. And they ran away. At that time, I was about to ask you last week. How you see things in the spirit. I was going to ask you, I was going to ask you. I was going to ask you, I was going to ask And I think you are exercising that. I was going to ask next week. I was going to ask you. They felt and they ran away. Then Daniel says, I saw and there was no power left in my knees. And in trying to rescue my life, I could not even run away. And the angel came and touched me and said, be strengthened. I told that last week, that spiritual entities can come and strengthen you to see things of the spirit. So you can see things of the spirit because you are now spiritual. Or you can see things of the spirit because things of the spiritual are overpowering you. So they cause you to... In this case, to show you who was in, 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 in control. It's the realm of the spirit that was in control. But if Daniel was qualified to see the things of the spirit, he would not have feared. 
And the fear that came to him, if he was qualified to see the things of the Spirit, the fear that came to him should have been taken by his own ability to see in the Spirit. But when the angel touched him, he said, don't be afraid. And he was strengthened. So is the angel that made Daniel see things of the Spirit. You prayed, but there's been a delay in your prayer. The reason, and talk about But the reason why there was a delay in me coming, that you Christians should understand, is I was held by the prince of Persia in the realm of the spirit. So the devil, who is, who is the king of the world or of the earth? According to this revelation, takupua calculation in the spirit you calculate a sphere you could write a earth. Least we think earth in the part not see it. I'm not on this way. I'm not on this way. That is only God. Satan the king of the the earth. But if the prince of Persia is able to hold an angel coming to give an answer, the prince of Persia is a demon. And can only do that within the boundaries of the earth. So So earth has its physical location. It also has its spiritual location. rain does not come from heaven. It comes from a spiritual side of earth. Makora mnona has me heaven. Akuso kunuka rangirozo. It's spiritual side of the earth. But you can see the clouds. The clouds is another manifestation side of the spirituality that you can see. But if you want to see how spiritual it is, try to touch it. Because we believe anything physical we can touch it. And we also believe anything physical we can see. But if you want to see that clouds are not physical. Yet you are seeing them. You will see if you see them and you try to touch them, you will come out with nothing. So earth in its physicality is spiritual. So you need to understand the physical earth you are stepping on. There is a spiritual earth where unseen beings that operate on earth live. <laughs> You see this example. Pamuri is this thing is a part of this. So you are being deceived by you living here and seeing each other, and you think your boundaries end here. You don't know that the spirituality to this thing where spiritual beings also live. Because I connect any motor spiritual love for eating. Because motor in the spirit. Do so much as we move, as we are going to move, we are going to move. So, so in the physical, in the spiritual side, so is the earth. Earth is physical, we are spiritual. If we manage our time, we spend the time more in the physical. We will ignore the spiritual side. Is the spiritual no longer the Lord? Jin, when Satan never runs, he is the father of lies. Varu garaba earth, but the spiritual realm is earth. O garaba kipas. O garaba kipas. Garaba kipas tamu. Saka, imi mi muka. Hey, baba, baba, baba. He endereke, baba. Mungori on the physical side, and you are not communing with the spiritual side. This is where the devil is living. According to Daniel 10, where we read, the angel said, from the day you laid in your heart to pray, it was answered. What is answer? Is an angel living from the presence of God in heaven to come with that which has been prayed for to the person living on earth? No answer. Can I say to Yashika, his answer? So, I don't know if I can answer it, but I don't know. 
You have answers that have been answered a long time ago, but you just don't have them. What did he understand about spiritual geography? Number one, Daniel understood that where he is stepping is not the end of where the boundaries of the world is living in exists. He understood that earth has got an extension of the spiritual side. But I've communicated too much and operated too much on the physical side. So he prayed. When he prayed, the angel came and confirmed that your feeling and your gut feeling that there is a delay in the answer is true. The answer from the realm of the spirit, second heaven, where angels live, because the devil said, I'm going to lift up my seat and go to where God is. And then the So, when Lucifer was the angel, this physical earth was not there. There were only two heavens. This earth became a product of sin. Then the Garden of Eden, where angels would worship God from with Lucifer, became the second heaven. So, angels right now are in the second heaven. And you are in the first heaven. But your first heaven, your mistake is you are only looking at the physical earth. You don't know it's got a spiritual side. So, you have to second heaven you have to first heaven. You have to say first heaven and third heaven and third heaven and earth. You are supposed to say there is first heaven. To prove to you that it's possible for a human being to live in heaven whilst on earth. Jesus says, when you pray, say your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. So if you don't pray for God's heaven to come on earth as it is in heaven, you are going to live on devil's heaven. Which becomes your first heaven. Mariako, no control how it comes to your house by the kingdom of heaven that you are living in. Your marriage is controlled by the kingdom of heaven that you are living in. So you need to, to control beyond where you are. So the angel travels freely from the first, from the third heaven where God is, freely. There's no hindrance because it's one system. Second heaven passes freely with no resistance because that's where angels are living. It's when he gets to the realm that is spiritual of the third heaven ruled by the devil that he finds other princes that are different from where he's coming from. And the name of the prince he met is the prince of Persia. The prince of Persia says, you're out of boundary. What are you doing here? No, 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 no. I just open a passage for me. Remember when we were reading the book of Exodus, children of Israel coming from Israel to Canaan, they would ask for passages to pass by other countries to go to their own country. At some extent, they would ask for king's passage. Was king's passage, you were protected by the generals of the king, by the systems of king, so no one touches you. So when this angel comes into this kingdom, it wanted a passage to come on earth. And the prince of Asia says, you have no right to be here. Your passage is determined by how much the person you are responsible for is praying. So we withhold you until he prays. At that time, you cover. So you say, but no one covering. If I put a covering, you can see by we connected to Kwairi to what extent? We understand that to what extent? Giving yako, SMA systems. That's why when you are giving, it's a system that is giving. I ina cha inogupa. Peter Arunizo, giving I ina cha inogupa. You know who created a passage? Yengi rose budi pure. Nizo wakana madira ka. So, ukasa ukasa so understand this. You can make excuses for it, thinking you do someone a favor. In him, I'm just an institution of the kingdom of heaven that is happening to be found on earth where there's an opposing kingdom. 
and is all day with Rim Kingdom and Dukura Ramas and Poro Vitawa. So, Hoya Kapamandi, who could have a passage in Upandi. You penetrate up an opposition to bring those things into my. You start to worry about the Sultan of Sikramandi. Those ones are all recovering. The one of them, I didn't took Hey, Bagaza, hey, this all. But about the moon, what if I need a So, we see like I'm saying. Drogo on the way, Banaban Gatangoti. Offering time. Ah, there we go again. Because you think you do me a favor. Because you see how to give you a very personal word. Since they are away. Shut up on any chicken, which I want to celebrate or Jitamba Murotu. Passage. From the day it entered your heart. Omana, Pastor and Debazi. Funga with him in a matu, Yam Sadamana Mata, and Gurimo, you have been to work there. Do you know your heart contains certain things you can't say with words? And those prayers have been answered. There are prayers that have no words on earth that have been answered, but they are being withheld in the realm of the spirit that belongs to the earth. Where children of the devil called liars occupy. So they interfere there. They stop there. Their, their, their responsibility is to monitor are your prayers being answered and they check the legality of your prayer being answered. To stop the flow of the answer. From the day it entered your heart to pray, it was answered, but I was withheld. 21 days. In the room of the spirit, Gabriel. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's an act. Do you know who Gabriel is? Do you know Gabriel is not? I'll teach you. Can I can I tell you what's going on? You have to live. Gabriel is not an angel. It's an archangel. There's a difference between an angel and an archangel. So let's just decide. But archangel, do you have one who can see? You have to focus here. Build a ark of a covenant and to put two angels that cover. One angel represented Gabriel. Another one represented Michael. Lucifer was supposed to be the third one. So I found it at three. And the Fuki Zira, it shows you they are the only ones that know certain secrets of God. Because Luther got some God. So there are two because Lucifer had fallen. And if you hear what Gabriel says, he says, I was withheld 21 days. But when you prayed, no one was able to assist me because they are not in my rank. Except Michael. So even me namata ukeka uka namata asisi na knowledge and understanding. Yekuti quality angel. Yacho ya batwa. Yaka di. So that when you pray you also release an angel that comes to help it of the same quality. If you release angels of inferior quality, it doesn't matter how many they are, they will be defeated with their master. Gentlemen and ladies, system of God answering prayers is very serious. That's why when he hears something is happening in Sodom and Gomorrah, he comes to check. This he could not trust an angel to do the work for him. Because he knows angels can be held by princes of Persia. Because their power also depends on how prayerful the people they are responding to are. So when it comes to passing judgment, concerning a nation, God could not even trust an angel to go and check. The one who brought the problem to say, God, there's a problem, Sodom and Gomorrah, is an angel. But God had to come and verify. Why is God verifying? Why is God verifying? Because like I said, above you, there's a realm operated by demons. There's a realm operated by the devil. And the responsibility of that realm is that when you pray to God, when you pray to God, they intercept the information and remove certain words from your prayer. And remove certain information from your prayer. So that when the prayer gets to God, it's a misrepresentation or a lie. Because he's the father of lies.
So God has to, ve- why is he verifying if we are confident that when we pray, it gets to him without lies? It's because he has seen that in the generations, people pray and their prayers come to him intercepted. So he really needs to know whether I'm not going to kill people for Mahala. So above you, there is a realm that intercepts prayers. If you pray, that's why it pays to pray in tongues. Because they can't intercept what they don't understand. I will go down now and see whether they have done all together according to the outcry. What I've been told that they are doing, I want to see for myself. Why is there need for God to leave his throne and come and check for himself? Because of how the devil operates above us. Changing information. And you find yourself in a season, you're praying for marriage, you get a job. And you find yourself in a season, you're praying for a car, you buy a wheelbarrow. And you find yourself in a season you have never prayed for your family. People are dying. You are praying for your family like never before, but they are dying. He intercepts the prayer and removes quality out of it. Such that there is need for you to upgrade yourself when it comes to prayer to a level where God comes himself. To check whether you have asked to be married before he gets you married. Father, I pray. Oh, in the name of Jesus, this is my season for marriage. Oh, Baba, I pray. Oh, Marimaganak. Oh, yes, Murumano Shkamag. I know the Saran Oba Bata Pesap. Oh, yes, Mrs. Opisa Murumano Shkamag. Oh, Lord, I want to dedicate myself to you for the coming two years. I'm not going to get married in the next two years. But I would be in a deep relationship with only you, Jesus, your husband. But Lord, after two years, I pray. Good morning, Pastor Marano. Good day. Pope, this will be after two years. Pongo siwa and di guru. Before you resign, you need to check whether you prayed and the prayer was not intercepted that you were telling God you want to resign because you have other ideas. Interception is a good Can I what he is intercepting because I'm a human being, so he takes advantage. Even God's answer can be intercepted. That's why he is with the, when he was withheld by the Prince of Persia, where was he coming from? Was he coming from earth? Where was he coming from? From where? That's the name of from where? where? Who is in heaven? So he was coming from who? And he was captured from God. Marano sent a message. Could he resign when you are 90? Pope Viswa 90, who wants to resign? Interception. Ah, Papa, I don't know what he's saying. Oh. Go say. Ah, I'm not in prayer. God should verify whether your prayer was not intercepted. 
you should verify whether God's answer was not intercepted. It's not God's responsibility to check whether his answer was intercepted. It's your responsibility. And it's not your responsibility to check whether, whether your prayer was intercepted. It's God's responsibility. How you involve him. How you involve him. So you know Marie may say my past to play. But if I see my half lives with half truths, because the devil is the father of lies. And remember, for a devil, for the devil to create a lie, he can't create a lie from nothing. Hmm? The devil cannot create a lie from nothing. For it to be called, all right, pastor, help me. Can a lie exist if there's no truth? So for the devil to be called a lie, there is truth. So for him to create a lie, he has to tamper with the truth for us to compare and say there's a lie. So what he does, he takes your truth. That's what he turns into lies. He manufactures and turns into lies. Manufactures and turns into lies. So prayer is not something you would notice. I'm just doing two, three minutes. Because when you say I'm going to pray, from today know that when you're praying, God is involved and demons are involved. At least you thought when you're praying, only God is involved. Prayer attracts the attention of the devil. First. Because you're praying from his own. So if your prayer is attracting the devil first, but does not have power to overpower that which it is attracted first, it will be interfered with. So prayer will not only attract a certain, you overpower to the realm in Amari. I have to go and check whether what I've been told is true. You need to check. Verification of my prayer. <laughs> Can I use your example, Tina? I prayed for Tamin Tina for a baby boy. And they gave birth to a baby girl that looks like Tamin. That is, is with a boy character. She's very resilient. She gives troubles to the older sister, but she's very young. Ani naro. Ndaka kuna nani ndi nyanda kata ora kuti mwana uyu mukoma nayo. But pandaka pa chiporofit and chiti mwana mukoma na makano di nacho. And you hear many people blaming me or laughing at me. But he prophesied and he said he's a baby boy, but he came as a baby girl. Or a baby girl and came as a baby boy. When that happens, you should come and ask, where is the problem? What happened? But you say, what is the problem? But you have information that you have to say, Papa. Tina, what's going on? Tina, the other day, I really think this child was supposed to be a boy. Behave like so. Mama wants to get to me, Junior. Looks like the dead. Because my brother won't vindicate any. When this revelation is taught, my prophecy didn't miss the mark. But there is more beyond prophecy. Prophecy is to give you a false start, but a permitted false start. On your mark, you said you want. What 50 meters? Can you only pass on see your hand? Which profit? How much money for a car? And do nothing. When I tell you it's a baby girl or it's a baby boy or you shall make money, that's what you're going to introduce your prayer with. Father, I declare in the name of Jesus that my prayer shall not be intercepted because of the prophetic of my father. I manifest myself as I'm praying right now that other beings, others that are praying in here, others that are carrying the prophetic into the realm of the spirit are going to cause this prophetic to manifest in the name of Jesus. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? Sit down, sit down so that our viewers can be with us. Just continue connecting. You are in the right season at the right time. You are your neighbor, I'm not in the wrong season. I'm in the right season at the right time. Do you know 
ukuti inini ndikafara building andotola kuisa church ndikanoibata maokozo ndikati nde yangu do you know that pindi munhu for 3 years abunzana pasa inini amundizi mawani nataka da church kuvisha ne yega mubogara pasina nakuda nana pasta wakuzi ndaye ngonda pesa pane muso anda kanda pesa kuparidza taiparidza muka church tati muka church ndo kunga half of this kalaji box ai pisa ndakapalitsa <laughs> this ground is mine they came with a car pinda ndakatona mba kupinda kumberi ndakagara kumashure kutirela kuti mese gare kumberi pane zvandota kuita chitaura nemavhai one year a big church went to approach the mine wanting that land the mine said no another big church went to approach the mine the mine said no because it was mine even though person a chitina changu but i had left my spirit there in the world owned by the devil i had my territory that can be extended based on my prayer life that can be extended based on my consciousness that can be extended based on my resilience of prophesying the word of god 2 3 years down the line ndazoenda kushavani and i said to pastor few na vashoko na mamaputi tiku ni monica was there you remember yes woman of monica was there we prayed as where we going to get land we went to the office of shabani mai there is a land there by the corner you want it do you know what they say to us take a from board meeting remember the round table as you are the people we were waiting for when we were given that land other not to be little them but other men of god and pastors from other churches that wanted that land started saying shekina is bright how can such a young church get such a big land isusu we have got 20 30 years here in shaban we are known some of our people are working in the mine it's because if you don't understand the principle of prayer that prayer is beyond talking prayer is an attitude prayer is an invitation of god's special person that can be found in other people's lives prayer is attraction of god's person that says i have to go and verify if you just desire to achieve something and you don't implement this system of prayer it will remain a desire this realm that we are living in your prayers can be intercepted this earth is your wealth the bible says the earth was given by god for the children of god to inhabit it you were not created to come here and be a lodger for the rest of your life and struggle to connect that and to connect that but i want you to understand that you might be asking yourself that why is that from the day i gave myself to christ that is by habit that has happened because when you don't give your life to christ there is no need for the devil to intercept anything because you are not praying but the day you then tell yourself that i'm giving my life to christ you then need to understand the depth of the systems that are supposed to be applied in the new kingdom that you have found and one of them is prayer in the aspect of prayer in today's service is god coming to verify 
your prayer and you verifying God's answer zvingaiteri kuti ngana mata ndigutsanya kudaro posha ya minduru see now halikuzwa naro zvauti tauta zvite is because you know in your heart of hearts that chinjaka pindurwa chi but chiripi chakuda kuti wewe uchenda in the realm where it was intercepted you don't really need to pray to god you need to go in the realm where it was intercepted and release it tikatanga kuti kuti how do you go in the realm where it was yato imwe service kai but zvichinji zvacho ndakakupai you manifest you into many yous Pana iwe wewe anogona kunotenga my god Rekaende kubasire ndi conclude Pana iwe wewe anogona kunotenga chingwa nyanongo bva akabata chingwa physically Anobva anotenga chingwa bva akabata chingwa physically Don't send that person who has ability to go and buy bread in the supermarket physically to go and intercept your prayers spiritually He can't even if you want There's another you you need to develop who can go into the spirit and carry spiritual things. When you master and practice this, this has to be practiced. You will understand why Muroi achuya spiritually but causes physical results. There is a you who can't carry physical things. And if you send that you who can't carry physical things, to go and buy you physical things even if he wants he can go but he won't be able to carry them so unofana kuona panoperera iye hotuma kuti kuti iwe we the other you can go and assist him to carry that which has been answered munoto rine mota dzakagara dzamakagara muri panaka but yakamirira kuti drive nayo uri munhu so until there is that relationship that you can develop you physically you spiritually you so wise they say you so wise we haven't touched it we'll touch it another day and how much can you develop the beings of you spiritually to multiply to multiply to multiply to multiply so that they can be assigned to go and collect things you are praying for children they are you that can go and take those children but when they take those children you need to understand that they cannot carry the children physically they come in and impart the child into your body But there should be a relationship between the spiritual you and the physical you to spiritually carry the baby and physically manifest the baby. That takes great meditation. You can't just walk into prayer and go, "Oh father, 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 you care." It takes great meditation. Ba 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 ba. Baba, something is happening. I can't leave prayer because I feel I'm connected to something. I'm connected to something. I'm connected I'm connected to my children. I'm connected to my children. I'm connected to my finances. And you can't leave prayer until there's a strong connection that that which is spiritual has been deposited into your body. There is a giant in you who needs to be exercised there's a champion in you who needs to be exercised all the things i can tell you today that you feel have been answered it's not because they've not been answered god is using them as a delaying tactic to get you into prayer so that you can access certain spiritual things and develop a champion in you and develop a general in you and develop the power in you and multiply the yous that are in you You don't have to worry. From here you have to focus. From here you go you have to go into a reconciliation. What if I prayed for and I feel I've not received? But I know when I prayed that prayer was answered. You can verify these systems and cause things to happen in your family, 
and cause things to happen in your businesses and cause things. You have ability to stop death in your family. You have ability to stop sicknesses in your family. You have got ability to stop poverty in your family. You have ability to stop calamity in your family. You carry that ability. Right now, as I'm talking to you, if there's any grave that your relatives are going to, to worship, and they worship, and they cause demonic spirits to rise against your family, you carry the grace to manifest yourself there. There. There is a general that God is lifting in you. There is a general that God is lifting in you. There is a strange person that God is lifting up in you. There is strange power that God is lifting up in you. That person, if lifted up, is able to stop death. Is able to stop every bad luck. Ba 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 ba. I need to finish. I need to finish. I need to finish. I know there's so much of the presence of God that you guys are connecting you. Forgive me, pardon me, but I need to finish. You can reproduce yourself and be the system that is going to stop certain policies that have been developed by the devil in your family. But this is not a job to play with. It takes serious consciousness. Serious meditation. You have ability to rebirth yourself. Reproduce yourself. Reproduce yourself. Leave yourself in that house to buy it. Leave yourself in that land to buy it. Leave yourself in your brother's life and in your sister's life so that when they consistently experience bad luck and backwardness, it stops because of the way you are praying and ministering yourself to them. What the devil has been using against you is to make you look down upon yourself. To think that you cannot even help yourself. Yet God has created you even to help thousands of your family members. Thousands of your society members. Thousands of your, your brothers and your sisters. The primary school that you went to is waiting for your help. The secondary school you went to is waiting for your help. And you see you've got that desire to go back and you want to do that. It's because there's something in you that wants to go back there. And yes, it can be developed. It can grow. It can manifest. It can cause you to live a life full of power, success from here on. Consciousness. Refuse to be denied. Refuse to be defeated. Refuse to think that it ends where you are. Know that there are other things that you are able to influence that are outside from where you are. If you can think like that, if you can talk like that, the champion that God wants to see is going to begin to exist. Pray. Only live prayer when there is serious conviction in your spirit that God is verified. Let prayer not be according to your own catch. Pray until there is conviction. One of the convictions that manifest is when you pray and you're praying for something, you hear a manifestation of the Holy Spirit that you tell yourself, I've never felt this before. And you don't live until there's serious communion with it. Until you worship that particular presence. It is that presence that will verify and say the prayer should be answered to. The prayer should be responded to. Just like God said to Sodom and Gomorrah, now I'm responding by fire. Now I'm responding by hailstorm. The same principle can be used in your finances. The same principle can be used in your marriage. The same principle can be used in your business. Oh my God. 
some of you even as I'm preaching right now you are feeling a bathing that is happening a bathing that is happening a bathing that is happening you carry that same thing into your prayer room allow that bathing to keep continuing allow that bathing to keep happening <laughs> Uh, I have things to tell you my prayer is you will be able to bear them that's not how it works well, he's a great helper there are systems that you should drill and understand you can bet yourself and help yourself bet yourself and have a use help you bet yourself and the devil wants to shrink you where you can't even help where you can't even the combatment that you are the devil wants you to shrink that you can't even feel that combatment and yet God is looking at you and the reproduction of you is the reproduction of Christians, reproduction of the glory of God, reproduction of you, reproduction of the power of God, reproduction of the authority of God. There is no way your family can be saved if you don't grow. So you find that even if you look at it and it sounds like pride, but if I put it in a simple way, Peter, Terrier, if I put it in a simple way, if you if it sounds like pride to say ah but growing myself let me put in a simple way if you then can't influence how then are you going to have your brothers get born again so you need to grow beyond where you are how are you going to speak to your boss and they listen to you that you deserve that job that you deserve that salary increment there has to be portions of you that leave you that visit your boss in dreams I told you to you. I need to finish. I won't be able to finish. I need to finish. Stretch your hands to me. Viewers all over the world. The same presence in here is right there. Use your concentration, faith, meditation, even those of you that are in here. Use those gifts from God to receive from me and to use that reception to rebirth you and use that rebirthing of you to extend your boundaries to beyond earth so that you will help angels like Gabriel who was held by the Prince of Persia until Daniel prayed it is scary to think that until Daniel prayed an angel could not be released this is to show you the influence and the realms a man can enter Stretch your hands, stretch your hands, stretch your hands, stretch your hands. Let the Spirit of the Lord touch. Let Him cause you to multiply and begin to live and exist in realms that you have never existed. Even the visions and the dreams you are going to start having from today shall be a proof of what you have received today. In the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus, be extended. Be extended. I command your other beings to begin to exist in other realms and gather what belongs to you. Oh. 
in Jesus mighty name we pray go home and don't lose this atmosphere you can carry this atmosphere and manifest it so that you continue the spiritual protection system that we have begun here I want you to think deeply of Daniel being told by an angel that I was held but when you prayed, I was released. So who is a human being? You're telling me a human being has got ability to manifest in the realm of the spirit. And watch. Daniel says, I was with the held by the prince of Persia 21 days. But I was held, I was helped by Michael. Michael was coming from another realm and helped Gabriel. In a lower realm where he was withheld. So Daniel's presence was able to manifest to beyond where Gabriel was held to speak to Michael to say Gabriel needs help. Limited to your five senses. What you are feeling is what's happening. What you are seeing is what's happening. What you are doing is only what you can do at that time. I'm here to change ideologies. I'm here to change the way you perceive things. If you are ready for where God wants to take you, here is manna from heaven. The food of angels. The food of the spirit. Go and change your life with this. Go and change your family with this. <laughs> I was laughing with my wife the other day. We were reading a book right here. Biologically, every woman, the eggs that she's carrying, she's carrying eggs that will birth her children. She's also carrying eggs that will birth, that will be passed. She's carrying eggs that will birth her children. And she's carrying eggs of her grandchildren. So if a woman is carrying eggs of her children and of her grandchildren, it means when she conceives from the eggs that carries her children, the eggs that birth her grandchildren are passed to the eggs that are going to birth her children. Biologically, a woman, a woman, where she is, every woman in here, has eggs that can birth her own children and she has got eggs that can birth her grandchildren but a woman cannot birth her grandchildren she births her children yet inside their grandchildren so what happens to the grandchildren in there when she conceives to birth her children the eggs are transported into her children so that when her children come and exist they birth their children with the eggs that they inherited from their mother biologically physically so spiritually what's happening what can you birth what can you develop am i talking to you don't allow the devil to limit you yes we are in the world that was given to him but we came here with all power with all dominion and with all authority i didn't tell you that we are living in the world of the devil so that i scare you at the end of the service no 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 it's so that you just understand systems so that you bypass them so that you dominate them and you influence them. Am I talking to somebody? Even though we are in the world that is of the devil, but we are dominators. Even though we are in the world controlled by the devil, but we carry the power of God. We carry the intelligence of God. We carry the wisdom of God. And we are able to reproduce the glory and the power of God in this world. In the name of Jesus. So let's end here. remember your companies don't allow anyone to lie to you that you can't do anything about this coronavirus that's why you see in our community it has done nothing <laughs> because we have been praying isn't it amazing that it now looks normal 
This is in our community. We don't have anything to talk about. So that at the end of it, God wanted to show you the manifestation of his power. That if there is a man to pray, then there is a God to answer. But she wants a prayer does not exclude you. Neither does it only include God. Between you and God, there is a partnership. Jesus says, I call you slaves or servants no more. Your friends. Friends talk. Friends liars. Friends think together. The Bible says we are his workmanship. The Bible says it is his will to reproduce himself and his ability in us. The Bible says it is God's good pleasure to give his children the kingdom. You're not a slave. We're a child of the king. So you need to operate from that realm. Think from that realm. And pray from that realm. And pray, not getting into prayer, leaving it to God. We are praying with our... When you are praying, you are praying with God. The Bible says we know not how to pray. But the Holy Spirit helps us. So even as you are praying, the Holy Spirit is your helper to pray. So if the Holy Spirit doesn't have to be involved, what is it they are doing helping? From here, let's increase our communion with the Holy Spirit. Let's increase the reproduction of our beings so that we are conscious of the Holy Spirit wherever He is, we are, wherever we are, He is. As you are walking, you are thinking, yes, I'm walking here on earth, but I'm seated in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. As He is, so am I. 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 I am the temple of the Holy Ghost, and He lives in me, and His power is in me, and all the abilities of God are in me. Live with that consciousness so that you are able to reproduce you through the nature of God and live your life according to God. May the Lord bless you. I love you so much. May He increase you and multiply you. Let me bless you before you leave. Father, I thank you. I bless your children. I increase them and I multiply them. I cause them to shine. I cause them to be favored. I cause them by the anointing of God. Whatever they touch from today, let them prosper. Whatever they touch from today, let them multiply. The viewers that are all over the world, Father, I thank you that my spirit as they are covering together with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus is there. When they walk into that interview, they shall be helped by this covering to do well. When they apply for those jobs, they shall be helped by the anointing of the Holy Ghost to do well. Thank you, Father, for this season. I manifest myself in the home affairs offices and cause favor. This church shall testify. This church shall testify of their documentation. This church shall testify of favor. This church shall testify of the goodness of God. Thank you, Father, for joy, peace, love, and elevation over their lives. Thank you for financial multiplication. Thank you, Lord, for promotions in their workplaces. Above all, thank you for bringing them closer to you so that they know you even more and the secrets of God even more. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's appreciate Jesus. Tell your neighbor, you have to grow till you can exist from more than where you are. You know, bani 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 you need to get in the room of the spirit. Uno gona ku rota mu. Can dream of someone getting involved in an accident. You are not even their pastor I am. But you dream a fellow brother. Getting involved, let's say, in an accident or something bad happened. And you feel convicted in your spirit to go and tell them. But you're not even their pastor. So, these things are evidences of multiple existences. Because what is happening is the reason why you have got so much conviction, yet you're not even their pastor. And you were not even praying for them. Normally what convicts you to tell them is you wake up and you say, I was not even praying for them, so how can I have such a deep dream? Because at times, 
You say because I was thinking and praying for them. So maybe my thinking of them and praying for them motivated me to dream them. It's a person you don't even talk to or think of and you dream in their getting involved in an accident and you wake up and you are sweating and you are panicking and you feel an obligation to go and tell them to pray concerning this why is there so much conviction in your spirit to go and tell this person or if I'm to take it a bit deeper and confuse you a little bit why is there so much conviction in your soul because for you to reproduce the spirit you have to be able to understand the boundaries between the spirit the soul and the body when you wake up and you are worried is it your spirit or is your soul because your soul are your feelings, emotions, will, ability to think in the future. That's your soul. When God created Adam, he gave him two things first before the third part of a human being existed. He created a man's body from the dust of the earth. And he breathed to him a spirit. Those are the two things Adam had. But he could not be called a human being without a soul. And the soul could not exist before the body and the spirit was breathed in by God. Because the Bible says God created the body, breathed the soul, and a man became a living soul. So who is a soul? When you are dreaming, who is dreaming? Your spirit or your soul? Don't answer that now. Because you will be confused. I'm trying to show you who a human being is. It's even deeper than what I'm telling you now. Who will touch your soul. So that you can understand the aspect of your soul. And who your spirit is. To multiply him. And who your soul is. So that you don't, you don't confuse the participation of your soul with what's happening in your spirit. When you are dreaming, is your spirit dreaming? Yes. When you are dreaming, is your spirit acting? Who is existing when you are dreaming? Because your body is not. It's your spirit. But who is recording the information for you to remember what the spirit was doing? Is the soul. So to execute this properly, you then have to understand where does my soul come in when my spirit does this? And where does my spirit end when this comes? Body Ouch. 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 On the hand, this is flesh. But is it true that it's the hand that's feeling pain? Because your feeling is in the soul. So Chichi Ripa woke up. That could be a product of your soul. That is feeling pain. Because I can't do it. I'm in the hospital. I'm going to have an operation. I'm going to have an injection. I'm going to have an injection. I'm going to have an anesthetic paralyze it and it gumbora rara kucheka and it is spiritual really physical say this if the body is in there if the pain is in the body say about which about this was was body the boy was like i say so if your feelings feeling and i said your soul comprises of your vision will feelings so your feeling is your soul so it means Baga Manager would develop a product that goes to your soul and separates your soul from the body. So that when the body is touched, there's no pain. So Israel was what can you develop from a soul aspect to stop you from feeling pain when pain is happening everywhere. Then your spirit will grow. 
Yes, Jan no sense hospital. You relate with what I'm saying. Tukuti pain iri mbodi. Saka sei pata ba injection mbodi. Tuku check up mbodi sei zi kuwazi. Wame tati pain iri mbodi. Kote kati glass room puzi kati kati kana rapaz. Kati room puzi kati. So kana tuti pain iri mbodi sei ita hui checka. So no kuwazi zaguti. It's biology that is teaching you these things. That pain is in the body. But spiritually there is more. Because if we look at the soul, what is looking at me right now? Are your eyes? But what is receiving the information is the soul. Because when you look at me and you hear me, your soul then says, "Do you see when I'm talking to you? You are thinking beyond here." Because Papa na baka need to go and buy that car. Who is doing that? It's your soul. But who goes to buy the car? It's the spirits. And who goes to collect the car? It's the body. Do university again? When I was rowing, I got one day. I got one. I got one. Oga, is it? They got what they say. Is it? No, it's a dangerous. When we went to the room, we were moving around. We can't. We said we were going to apply information to it. But we were not going to apply information to it. What happened with this information? We talked about the scans. We were going to do a report on Zaku. What they are doing is normal in their world. Such that I told my wife, I believe that Pengo, if they are seeing it as they think we are crazy. Because what they are doing is normal in their world. That normalcy in their world happened by a person like you doing something. Muroi, do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what the the pengo was in Jibano say? Muroi, aka notora muti. He said the portion is muti. No va visa. Shish. Asi muti wajo une. That's why they produce different flowers. They shed leaves different times. They've got different heights. It behavior. And the muti only life. And the muti cannot you want it's a living organism. So it's got life. It's got a living because it's, because it's got life. So because it's a living organism. So it's got life. So so if a witch is able to go and harvest the life of a tree, Pastor Murunzo, Muroya ka guna guna harvest the life of a muti. Tati tati mutu ne life. The life of a tree determines its character, the time it sheds leaves. So mutu you can or mutu kuti mepo eka itika fu 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 fu. It drops leaves quickly. I can control life of a muti wo. Obati, I'm putting this life in you so that at the level at which this tree drops leaves, the level at which you drop. Opportunities and money. For for you to be able to stop it, you have to understand the dimensions of your body, spirit, and soul. Kusaga life yacho peyato wa yemuti. Kundi diite character yemuti. Zat deposit wa mu body yere, mu spirit yere, kana mu soul yere. Because one thing we can agree is the behavior of muna agupenga iri physical. Akutika. Mabin, but when Tasa Chinja Kashan is what that game Mabin, I know when I go back to Rwa Spirit, yes, I'm going So Muroi, I'm a believer of Vesta Spirit. In India, I got a number of people. Now it's why I'm not discussing about this. Could he, Baba, have a pussy for this man to be stupid and give you all the money, make them eat dogs' waste? If you want, let me use a very good example. You know many women that want to control their husbands. They go to which doctors? They are told go and take a tail of a lizard. Why a lizard? Because of the life around the lizard. A lizard spends time in the house. Okay, get out. No dive alone. You pin down. You talk. You don't matter. You should put it matter. That's the life that is reproducing the character, or that is producing the character of a lizard. So what the witch does? They take a tail of a lizard. 
as a representative of the life of the lizard. They cook relish and cut the tail in there. And when you are eating sadza and meat, chicken, but the spirit of a small tail of a lizard who overpower the spirit of a full chicken you are eating. The character of the lizard, it doesn't leave the house. So life can be harvested and is deposited into you. But when it's deposited into you, it's deposited into a certain aspect or container or department of your life. Either your body or your spirit or your soul. When it's been deposited in your spirit, it's got influence to your soul to cause you to think and then behave in a certain manner. So we will touch this another day. But Lord Mende Gumba, which is fungus in Zuku, which is Rukutu and Evaroi, was told to not see Mbaru Fura Ratina. Shuneta Vagon is they are conscious of what they are doing and they are daring. Remember, she was a testimony when I left school, form two, holiday. I went home and I found my mom very sick. You remember that testimony? Vaka Furam Kano. The one of them are here with My mom, she was sick. Because my mom was going to I must go to the hospital. What's going on? I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go when I was formed too, the Holy Spirit told me that she ate a root that she was given in a dream of a tree that can't live for more than 50 years. And she died at 49. So life of a tree can be harvested. And you are given. And you are, walking a, you are a walking being with the life of a tree. So deliverance, so we have to grow beyond that. To knowing how to deliver your life and how to go into realms of the spirit and take your life from where it was hidden. I'm giving you small, small things. Someone can come and take your life and give your life to their dumb child to live your intelligent life. Life. Did not Jacob and Esau agree to touch Ganyamayang? Then from today I'm the Facebook. So life can be exchanged. Jacob and Esau agreed. If you eat my meat, from today we have exchanged life. I'm now the Facebook. I don't know the Facebook. I don't know the Facebook. Esau didn't know that. You can lose that right of being a firstborn if you agree to exchange life. So we will touch all those things. But like I said, I'm worried where I'm going with you. I don't know whether we should stick to I declare in the name of Jesus. Prosperity is yours. I receive. I is dangerous. Is 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 dangerous. Those are greater Jesus. I'm sorry. Those are greater Jesus. I'm not paying over poor. Those are greater Jesus. As a Jerry, one hour away. So it's not a one hour. It's serious. So, thank you for your word. We seed with understanding that is you are seeding, you are creating a passage. We are creating a passage of possibilities. We are creating a passage of possibilities. We are creating a passage of the We are creating a passage of possibilities. We are creating a passage of You also come with the same revelation of creating a passage. But the passage that tithe creates is windows of heaven open. That's the passage. And the tithe that offering creates is I'll give to you, press down, shake it together. So you also need to understand what passage am I connecting? What passage am I connecting? So come give to the Lord.